Hello everybody and welcome back. Google HR suggested medical leave for racism victims. Google advised employees in the U.S. who complained about racism and sexism to take medical leave and undergo mental health counseling. One current employee was said going on medical leave is a normalized event after unproductive talks to human resources about racism and sexism. Now, when I was growing up, my parents told me, sticks and stones will break your bones, but names will never hurt me. Okay, now they said that, so I could grow a spine, okay? Um, we're not doing that anymore, we're doing the opposite. We're telling people, you know, if words hurt you, we'll go after speech or go after the people, or we'll give you, you know, some time off and paid leave. Yeah. Is that what we're teaching people now? Really? Okay. Well, two leading AI ethics researchers who had campaigned on diversity issues said they were fired by Google. Fired by Google. Google, they said you fired them. Okay, so Google denies wrongdoing. Okay. Sure they did and said it rigorously investigates complaints. <laughs> rigorously, wow. I mean, they go after it. So, <laughs> we have a well-defined process for how employees can raise concerns. And we, will, uh, we work to be extremely transparent about how we handle complaints, the company said in a statement. We take firm action against employees who violate our policies. You guys are just a bunch of ass whoopers, ain't you, Google? Wow. After a, one worker said, after I made a complaint, my work started getting pushed out from under me. What does that mean? They weren't getting to work? But my team acted like everything was fine. So the work was getting pushed out, whatever that means, and everybody thought it was okay. So they were getting some kind of a, a bad deal. And nobody was saying nothing. I wouldn't say nothing. Somebody else was getting screwed by the company. I'd be quiet because I'd be next, you know. Uh, when medical, uh, medical leave was recommended to the person, it was like an automatic process. So basically what these people are doing is, uh, it sounds like, you know, I, I, it's just verbal. <laughs> all this is verbal, man. Nobody's going out and attacking anybody. This is a company, man. It's all verbal stuff, man. Um so, uh, basically, yeah, Google is not the only major uh, technology firm accused of failing to implement such uh, much hyped diversity and inclusion policies. Uh, four rejected applicants for jobs are said to have complained. So basically, um, if you don't get a job at Google, instant racism, man. Ah, it's because I'm... Yeah, well, I, I don't know what I'd say. I'm a honky. Honky boy. Hey, I, I, I can't get a job there because I'm too honky. Mm -hmm. so, uh, <laughs> so Facebook's also getting involved in this. They're also going after Facebook and asking them, you know, what's your racist policies and stuff? And Facebook's like, hey, man, we refuse to comment. But I assure you, we have a respectful and safe working environment. Sure they do. Uh, so any, uh, any accusation and investigating, uh, investigations ongoing at Facebook uh, will be leveled. So uh, they're going after, um, or they're asking Facebook about their policies after Google went super puss and decided to you know, start this mental health assistance. And um, so basically uh, that's opening the doors. Google's like, hey, Somebody calls you a racist name or something, you automatic paid leave. I bet it's paid leave. I'm not sure about that. But, I mean, I'm sure you're not going to have to pay for the mental health, uh, you know, counseling. Yeah. And, uh, man, I bet people are going to flock to Google. Hell, I'm thinking about going to Google. Shoot. A former staff member in 2019, after being told by a colleague that their skin was much darker than the co-worker expected. Okay, well, that's all right. I mean, if I were going down to the Bahamas and spent a week and I came back real dark and somebody said, wow, you came back dark. And I say, oh man, that's racism. Yeah, wow. I need mental health counseling now. So, 
Yeah, I guess, you know, I mean, uh, for racism, man, you know, I hope I hope it gets fixed. I ain't into it. But this, man, I mean, come on, man. I mean, what are we doing? We're, we're freaking, come on, you know. Don't act like a bunch of kids, man. Come on, grow a spine. Be, man up, as they would say. Or, or human up. That's for everybody. Everybody. Human up. And, uh, man, I tell you what. They're going to be passing out pacifiers to anybody who wants to, you know, do some snot bubble crying about their situations. But, yeah, man, you, you if you make an offer like this, I'm sure people are going to come work there just so they can claim racism. It's like Biden. You know, borders are open. Bring your whole family. Bring all your picnic baskets. Come on, free lunch. Just doors are open. Yeah, so thought I'd uh, share that with you. Um do appreciate you watching. If you would, leave a like and subscribe. Have a good day.